Hi all, Mess Barncup from Kaiser Power Electronics here. Today we're doing a teardown of a APC VT40 KVA UPS unit. Now, as you can probably see, this is not a complete UPS unit that I have next to me. It is all the inverter boards. Somebody unfortunately got to this UPS system before me at the scrapyard and everything was just thrown all over the place. So all heat sinks were gone, all copper bars were gone, all wiring were gone, and yeah, the boards are in a pretty rough shape, but it is still worth 22 kilowatt worth of output power sitting here. Just a one power board missing. So I have the large power distribution board with all the filtering, and I have five out of six inverter boards, which are rated for a good six and a half kVA each. And since this is a three-phased 400 volt AC unit, that's why we have two inverters for redundancy. And there is a inverter for each phase. And by that it adds up to 20 kVA per inverter and then 40 in total. Here we have the layout of a 20 kVA unit. Now I put this out as it would be mounted on top of each other with all these standoffs and screws as we can see here that the filter and power distribution and the driver board here would be sitting connecting down to the three-phased inputs down here just like that so we have all our electronics on one side and we have all the heat sinking on the side of the mosfets and igbts and diodes the colored ribbons here is the gate drive connections. Goes down to a, yeah, just a gold pin plated pin header here. The large board here is named Power Interface Board SUVT slash PXP 400 volt. Says 2008 APC engineered in Denmark. There you go, it's a Danish engineered product. And we could probably find somewhere where it says made in China. Now the first striking thing here is of course the nice large yellow IC filtering capacitors. MKP type 600 volt, 10 microfarads. Reusable for all your power electronics kind of work. Just go straight off the board and reuse them. Other than that we have some electrolytics, most likely worn out, good used, and a lot of filtering. We have a lot of magnetic parts, and then mostly SMD, which is, yeah, of course, around the colored ribbons for the gate drive. And that seems to be located around here, here, maybe some over here, but that looks more like data acquisition. So over here we have neutral, battery minus, battery plus, and over here we have a lot of fuses that used to be here. It says 25 amp, 600 volt, and four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So maybe two for plus and minus battery, and three for out, and three for input of AC voltage. With the ribbons out of the place, we can see that there is absolutely nothing here. There's no driver ICs, it's just empty pads, empty pads, empty pads, no components. We only have a tiny bit up here. But if we check out the other side where we have this large connector up here to the presumably system board. We can also see here that this connects through uh, wires up to the different boards here. So yeah, we can only assume that gate drive on this version is done via the large connector here to the overall system or drive board. And this is just, as it said, the power board. And just as I thought I was finished, this turns out must be some kind of slave board because look at the other one. Much more components here, it's all populated. We have all our components here, we have large heat sinks sitting on top of these uh, soldered in MOSFETs to drive the yeah, larger bridges of MOSFETs. All the components are here right now. So yeah, this must be the master and that connects down to the other unit and it drives in some kind of slave mode. The power board 6.67 kVA, 400 volt, 2008, engineered in Denmark. 
And yeah, that said, let's zoom out and see the whole thing. Here we have it, 6.67 kilowatt of inverter power. And it is controlled by what seems like we have diode, 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 diode. We have two ITPTs and then we have three MOSFETs and three MOSFETs. Four electrolytic capacitors, we have four chokes or inductors. And then we have all our drive circuitry sitting in here. The blue ones are current transformers, green ones are filtering capacitors. And these small boards sticking up here is uh, smaller driver boards. Okay. Kind of funny that this capacitor says June 2017 on the side. I'm wondering if this is some kind of replacement. Or maybe it's just a uh, some kind of production code that yeah looks like 2017 but means something else. But uh, yeah, as it says June at first, that seems uh, a little weird if that was the case. There is no other date markings on any components, so yeah, it's hard to double check it. Board here is identical, it's just a mirror. So at first here we have some XS DSEI 130-06 diodes. Then we have three Infineon 47N60 MOSFETs. Then we have FE40G120HD IGPTs. Then we get over to the same pair of diodes as we had over here. We have the same 47N60 MOSFETs again. And then on the output here we have a Schottky diode and we have a fast ICSI DLA60I1200HA diode. So this tells us that we most likely have maybe two half bridges of MOSFETs or maybe they do a full bridge. But the four IGPTs could be yeah, two half bridges and or a full bridge. And then we have associated di diodes with each pair. But since there's three MOSFETs and three MOSFETs, tells us that this is not a single inverter. This is three in parallel. But it's actually impossible to tell. And that's because it's a four layer board. Here at the bottom side, we have the ground or one face sitting up here. Then we have one of the other on the other side, and then one disappears. So, and holding this board up to the light, I also cannot see the tracks. We can, however, see here that there is some light patterns, but these do not show when you hold it up against the sun. So we do have a four layer power board here. Conformal coding all over the place. So um, maybe a bit of uh, shine at the camera, but uh, yeah, should be possible to see. We have the holes here, which are the gate drive connections. Was this worth taking with me home? Well, I got 18 of these nice big yellow 10 microfarad 600 volt DC caps, which is absolutely perfect for snobbering capacitors in a later Tesla coil project. On the power electronics side over here, yeah, the magnet magnetics and electrolytics is just a trash. And among all our silicon switches here, there is 60 of the 47N60 C3 MOSFETs, 650 volt DC, rated for 47 amp and 141 amp in pulsed operation. So they are fairly nice MOSFETs, but I unfortunately do not build many coils anymore that uses MOSFETs. On the diode side, we have these DSEI 130.06A diodes, which is rated for 130 ampere at 600 volt. So pretty nice diodes as well. When it comes to the 40G120 IGPTs, they are unfortunately rated for 1200 volt, which is not unfortunately, but that makes the current a bit lower for a TO247 device. And that is down to 70 amps normal operation, but only 120 amps pulsed. And that is quite low. So unfortunately, I don't think there is much reuse for those in a Tesla coil inverter.
I hope you enjoyed the teardown and I really hope that I earned your like and subscribe. And if you like my videos, please share them with your friends. That would mean the world to me and really help me build up the channel. So I hope you will do that. So until next time, see ya.